Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today, we're going to cook baby back ribs on the Sportsman's Grill. Y'all stay tuned. So, uh, today is no different. We're going to explore different things you can do on the Sportsman's Grill. You know, it's a little bitty hibachi grill. It's really designed to do things hot and fast. Uh, cooking baby back uh, ribs is not really something you do hot and fast, but something you probably want to do, you know, wherever you're at. Um, so, here's what we come baby up back with. back ribs out. These are beautiful. I used uh, my catfish skin and pliers to get that membrane started and get that off the back of them. Right now, we're not going to put any seasoning on them. We're going to marinate them. And I've made a super long bag from my uh, food saver there. So I'm just going to kind of make it long enough that it, you know, they would fit all the way in there. Just like that. Alright, now right here we have this is mango nectar. So this is an awesome marinade. By the way, you can also use some mojo or moho as it's more correct, correctly pronounced. I'm going to pour a generous amount of that in there. This stuff is awesome right out of the jug, too. Just a drink. So I'm going to go ahead. I got that in there. Make some room here. Get a vacuum sealer set up over here. Bag's a little longer than it really needed to be. Okay, as soon as it starts squeezing the moisture out, I hit the seal button. Now. I like to lay them in the pan, meat side down. It's cool enough out here today. We don't even need your fridge. Alright folks, well we've had this uh, marinating for some time now, a couple hours in that uh, mango nectar, Let's go in there and get her, try to leave the juice behind. Alright, we're going to go ahead and season this guy, and here I'm just going to use my, uh, my standard brisket rub, it has no sugar in it, salt, pepper, garlic, a little rosemary, uh, some uh, accent. If you want to see how to make that rub, I'll try to leave you a, a link down in the description box to how to make that from scratch. Otherwise, use a good steak seasoning. But definitely, we're going to have a hot grill here for a little bit. So, do not use anything that has any sugar in it at this time. A little later in the cook, we'll be able to add that. Okay, here's another tip on doing this. Um, start them ribs room temperature, okay? So 15, 20 minutes before your fire's gonna be ready. I like to do, uh, you know, take them out about the time I'm getting ready to start some charcoal. Just bring them out into uh, the warm place. If it's cold outside, of course, do that inside where it's warmer. Let them come up with room temp because they're gonna cook uh, much faster. And you know that that little sportsman is pretty hot. So we don't want to start them out from dead cold inside and uh, otherwise we're going to have problems with them getting burnt on the outside before we can get them done on the inside. Alright, we got Sportsman's Grill ready. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and come in with our, our one layer system that we've kind of developed for doing things that uh, like chicken. And so we just want to cover the bottom of the Sportsman's Grill with one layer. So we're going to spread those out very evenly. And uh, how many coals is that? It's about 30, okay? About 30 coals. So go ahead and get ready to put the grill on. If you guys watched our last video, we uh, opened these slots up at the end where our, our actual lid lifter will fit through there now. That way we can handle that guy when it's hot. Let's go ahead and put the uh, damper, uh, the cold door up. 
Let it get hot. It's been a couple minutes. Notice our, our rib is about the same length as the grill. So we are going to kind of scrunch it. Okay? Kind of scrunch it to the middle. Putting it uh, meat side down to begin with. So I've got some smoking chips. Scatter a few of them in there. Just to give it a little, little smokiness. Don't want to put a lot in there because it'll flame up and burn your meat. Awesome. We've been putting a couple of those pecan chips on there. So what I did, I made a double layer of foil, made like a little tent, link to the grill. So I'm just going to kind of make a shiny side out. Okay, both sides. Got double that inside, also shiny side. Okay, that's going to help reflect some of that heat coming off the grill back down to the ribs. But it's not tight on there yet. Well, that'll be coming up. But for right now, we're going to help. Now, now that that uh, coals are starting to burn down, that's when we put this on. It's been about 25, 30 minutes in. Little tent, a tent of tastiness. Okay, these are going on very nicely now. Uh, it's been about 40 minutes, so we went ahead and stuck a few new charcoals in there on the ones that are still going, just out here and there. One thing I did forget to mention when we started this project is that damper door is closed. Okay, closed off. Alright. And if you want, we can go in there, take a little look see. So what we just did a couple of minutes ago, we took a little bit of our uh, our new grub rub we got here. This is uh, supposed to be a Texas favorite um, award winning grub rub. The tenderizer. Sprinkle a little bit of that on them. Now the fire's dying down a bit, so we went. Uh, you know, you know, got a lot of sugar. I tasted it. It's a lot of sugar. Okay, and put our tent back on, and that kind of making then that sportsman's grill into a kind of like a mini little smoker. All right, guys, we just flip them over. It's getting a little dark on the bottom. We'll go ahead and put our tent back on. Now as that fire is dying down a little bit, it should be all right. We're going to keep an eye on it this time. Now it's up on meat side. When it gets color on it, then uh, we're going to take it off and foil them like we do with any other kind of a smoking or any, any other time we do ribs like this. Coming over to the foil with them. Those look pretty good. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to give them another shot. Texas Grub Rub. Pretty good shot of that. Come in here with uh, three pats of butter. I'm going to start folding that up and sealing it. I got two layers of foil here, by the way. I'm going to bring them up together at the top. Start folding them down on themselves. Pretty wide one to begin with, then a pretty narrow one. That'll double seal that. Okay? Pat that down. Now we're going to seal up one end down here. Feel where they're at. We give that several folds on top of itself, just like we do. So all we did was fold them up there, put about a about a quarter cup of this mango juice that we actually uh, 
marinated the ribs in back into that foil packet and now we're going to put it on back on the grill. Look that cook nice and slow till they're nice and tender inside. I knew they were already starting to pull back on the big end so it won't take long. Alright so the ribs are back on the sportsman in the grill but we want to try to retain some of the heat because our fire is kind of dying down. We only put a few new coals on it. So we want top heat, bottom heat. So shiny side, we took our tent, opened it up. Shiny side, alright, shiny side toward the meat. We'll just uh, kind of gently lay that over that. And then uh, we opened up the damper door about a third of the way. Alright, we're going to come out here and move our foil. And we're just going to probe it with our, uh, our, with our uh, thermometer. We're not looking for temp, we're looking for tenderness. And that goes in there, like pushing it in through, uh, through butter. So that's about done. We're going to pull, well, it is done. We're going to pull it off and uh, vent it out. And then we'll put a little bit of sauce on, and throw it back up there for a minute, and it'll be done. So if you never thought you could do baby back ribs on the Sportsman's Grill, well, Tell you right now, you can. Okay, the coals are almost gone. We put uh, four new ones in there, so all we're going to need is set this glaze. So we uh, just put some sauce on them. Going to start them uh, with the meat side down, bone side up, and we'll flip them here in a minute, and that'll be ready. As you can see, the leaves cook down very, very quickly, but those stems are still pretty raw. So what we're going to do, fix that is, we take it off the fire, we take a stainless steel bowl, turn it right over on top of it, take it off the fire. Alright, so it's time for the plate. Let's go in here and, uh, it's been chilling out under the foil for about 10 minutes, okay? So we're going to bring them over to the cutting board there. And um, they look beautiful, especially for being done on the sportsman's grill. I'm going to flip them over so I can see where the bones are. I cut this pointy end off. Let's go in there between that one. 
And then we're going to get uh, about four bones per person. One, two, three, four right there. We'll go ahead and cut that as a portion. And uh, cut the last part as a portion. And these two middle ones here are you going to be your, uh, your prawn guys. Man, look at those guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and give one of these ribs a try. You know, I've never tried to actually to do a, you know, a, a ribs on a sportsman's grill before, but I know it can be done. So let's give it a shot. Mm. Those really are pull off the bone tender. So if you want to make some great baby back ribs on the Sportsman's Grill, don't be afraid. Just follow this uh, technique, it'll turn out great. We'll see you next time. Hey, thanks for watching the Backwoods Gourmet. As always, if you like the video, hit that like button right down there. If you'd like to subscribe to our channel, hit that button right there. To see our last video, it's right up here. And for a whole playlist of cooking on the Lodge Cast Iron Sportsman's Grill, y'all check it out right up there. We'll see you next time.